For at TV, the world is thinking. Imagine the possibilities. The first half of the 20th century was just rich with scientific discoveries in physics. The second half of the 20th century, scientific discovery, although great things happened in physics, was really dominated by biology. Many of us are alive today due to what happened in the second half of the 20th century. Our children will be living even longer because of that. But the first half of the 21st century is going to have something new and different, and that is the cross-section and the intersection of biology and physics. We are going to start mimicking the behavior of the minds of living things, the sensory systems of living things, and bring them together to build a richer economy and stronger tools and help for those that may not have it. Within 20 years, we'll have a shortage of 5 million nurses. What's going to happen to the baby boomers? We need to have systems that have a capacity for autonomous perception, autonomous behaviors, and then ultimately autonomous thinking and decision making. I'm going to show you a little video of the early stages of these developments. It is from the partner of my company. We've been working together for a number of years. And in this picture at the Neurosciences Institute in La Jolla, you will see a robot based upon a Segway. So there's the robot, and his teammate, or her teammate, has a color of yellow and purple. The other team has a color of green and blue. So there's a robot and a person. And we were challenged by DARPA, the Defense Advanced Projects Research Agency, to play a game of robo-soccer, <laughs> where we, in our case, no equations. We trained that little robot over there to recognize a goal, to catch the ball, to pass the ball, and to know when to shoot a goal. To interact, and if you look real closely, Don Hudson, this brilliant young man over here, has a microphone, and he could say to the robot, go downfield, I'm going to pass it to you. Downfield. So I'll play it. It's a few little clips but I want to give you a sense of what's coming. <laughs> you know, it's going slow because they're 300 pounds a piece and we didn't want to hurt anybody. Then we're going to mark the robot. We're still marking the robot. Marking the robot. Yeah, we were following his movement. Okay, now it decides to pass the dawn. It sees that there's an opening at the goal. It says, okay, Don, pass me the ball. It looks around, looks at the goal, looks at Don, sees an opening at the goal. Touchdown! You see the excitement in these young people? This is what discovery is all about. So in any case, hopefully in the next year or so, we'll be coming out with some very early products. But this is what you're going to start seeing more and more and more.